just don't get how they could say they, they shared it or they split it when it was three quarters to one quarter. That is not sharing. It is sharing. I mean, sharing. <laughs> it's not It's not majority. No. But no, it is sharing. And that's why it's a flawed system that you had for your whole life growing up watching college football. But then when you look at the whole thing is that when they, when the, when the coaches voted, every, everybody voted. Michigan yeah. got three quarters. Yeah. The only vote that Nebraska got was from their stupid coach because he was retired and it was a pity vote. State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. And there's the opening kick of the season. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Benson's big playability makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. It. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Around five yards there on the option keep. That'll make it second and four. Let's go, let's go, fellas, let's go. Hey, kill, kill, kill. kill. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He's at the 40. And they push him out around the 37-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. And he makes it on to about the 24-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up second and nine. A little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. From the 29-yard line, second down. Steps out of bounds around the 28-yard line. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying throw it throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm stepping and throwing and that time he aimed the ball and it was incomplete no good he missed it to the left a quick update now here's reese the rebels had the final spot in the poll at number 25. unfortunately that didn't last long and for oklahoma they start the season with a victory. The Sooners win it by three. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he just gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 28. They got him. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, 
but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel in, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He tackles him for a loss. Day to punt. And this one is a beauty. Manson fields it at the 40. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He fights forward to about the 40. Around the 26 yard line. He might have a chance. He's knocked out of bounds at the 12 yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. Out of bounds at about the 13. He gets out to about the 12 yard line. away from the pressure. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Gamecocks were ranked 18. After that face plant, they'll be lucky to be ranked at all next week. And for Kentucky, their season starts with a win. Kentucky grabs the W by a touchdown. In another game, let's check in on the SEC where the passion always runs high. And for Texas, they're trying to win their first game of the year. And for Young, he's punched one into the end zone on the ground. The Longhorns have the lead, 7-3. Middle of the first quarter. Reese, 3-0 here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of five yards. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. He makes his way to about the 28. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it 37. 
Going right to his tailback. And he's hit immediately. Day is the punter. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Madsen fields at the 29. It's on the ground. The offense scoops it up. He's tackled the 39-yard line. I've got to think the offensive coordinator is not really that concerned right now. Well, they're off to a slow start, but this is also part of just kind of getting an, an awareness and an understanding of what the defense is trying to do to your offense. Now you've got to make the adjustments, and then you go back and start calling plays that you think will be able to attack this defense and get points on the board. Brought down at the 30-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll make it second and inches. Roger, Roger. At 25 to Mike. We go 25 to Mike. Ready? Mike, 80 on top. Go, 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 go. A little counter, but he goes nowhere. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. That's how we do, beat it. That's how we do. That'll bring up fourth and five. Mississippi State is looking to tie things up. It's up. He clanks it off the upright. No good. Well, that's just unlucky. It looked pretty good from here. So the offense comes out after their last drive. Had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And down he goes at the 37. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Who there? Who there? Check that in one. 91 is the right. Mike, easy. Two. Easy. And he's tackled at the 39. Here comes the pressure. He zips it out to the left. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. And that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. Three, nothing. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Here's the pitch and now the ball is free. Yep, and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Williams, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Reed is back deep to return the punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. From their own 18-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down around the 15-yard line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. He's under pressure. They'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Dane is waiting for the snap. Booming kick. Manson fields at the 44, and he just got stood up right there. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Makes it out to about the 39. Eight yards. That makes it second and two. the middle for a nice game. He's tackled right around the 30. the stop at the 10-yard line. run and great execution by the entire offensive unit especially the blocking up front and he hits the PAT a six play 47 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard Brad that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out they can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field and a lot of the yards came on the ground Sends it sailing downfield. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Wallace the tackle at the 32 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. And 25 to the mic. 25 to the mic. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. 
pressured and brought down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. was the intended target. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Day awaits the snap. Oh, excellent punt. He's to the 40. Benson's had his problems here in the first half individually, but you got to think he's got a great smile on his face knowing that the other guys around him have picked this game up and gotten them a lead here before halftime. I always like to see the, the attitude and the body language of a superstar player when he's not necessarily having his best game and the team is winning. What's his reaction? Is he down in the dumps? Is he still there for, for moral support? Is he still trying to do the small things to help his team win? And so far, we've seen that from him today. And uh, I think, I'm sure his coaches and I'm sure his teammates really appreciate that. made right around the 46 yard line. That makes it first and ten. And he's taken down at the 46 yard line. That makes it second and ten. Pulls in the pass and steps out. Game five on the play. First down. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. is going to be a first down. He's taken down at the 19-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Here's the eighth play of the series. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's out of bounds at the 16-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From the 16-yard line, second down. Gets to about the 14-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll make it third and five. it quickly. Number 83, the intended receiver on the play. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. The 
this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He delivers. And that's his receiver who's wide open. Tackle at about the 43-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 47. Goes after the running back, no good. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Kirk, we know in talking to these coaches that they like to script the first 15 plays. I don't think those were working, but whatever he's calling now is. You know, you always hear coaches talk about scripting plays. One of the main reasons they like to script plays is because they show a variety of formations and plays to the defense. And depending on how they react allows the offensive coordinator to get a feel for what he's seeing. And then they can attack accordingly. That's what he's done so far today, and it's worked out very well. The offense calls a timeout from their own 40-yard line. First down. Darts it to the left. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. He fires right. Caught end zone for the touchdown. designed play to the wide receiver and it got him six. You said it Brad in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. And he tacks on the extra point. So a short three play 80 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown. Boy that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. The score now 20 to nothing. Nice kick plenty of distance and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Brought down around the 30-yard line. Game of five yards. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Shift, shift, shift. Oh, oh, oh. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. First half is over, and this is why they play the game. 20 nothing. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Show. Reese Davis, David Pollock here. And, David, this is a game that people have been anticipating watching all week. There's been a lot of energy in the stadium. Great watch for the fans at home so far. Yeah, Reese. And, and the fans, they get excited. They want a bunch of points, but they also want defense. And when you can get a little bit of both, some great execution on the defensive side of the ball, some great execution on the offensive side of the ball, I think it's something as a fan you appreciate. You know your guys are going to battle, and you feel good about it. You know, whether you're sitting in that stadium right now or pop back on the couch someplace you can just feel the energy and the intensity of this game we're going to get more of that in the second half all right Reese David thanks guys just about set to start the third quarter 
He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26. You know, this defense played so well in the first half. I was very impressed. I know that. And I couldn't be more impressed with how they carried it over to the third quarter. Well, the most impressive thing is the way they have been able to maintain that into this second half. They played lights out in the first half. They just seem to be getting better as this game goes on. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. No game on the play. That makes it second and ten. Brings it out left, and he stopped right away. That brings us third and ten. And he is drilled at the 19. Loss of eight yards on the play. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Madsen is back awaiting the punt. Thirty-five yard punt. Out of bounds at the forty-six yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. They get nice yardage on that run. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. That brings up second and five. And he's tackled at the 40. After positive yardage. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. He makes it to the 35 yard line. It and he's hit hard immediately. Number 14 on the tackle at the 34 yard line. That makes it fourth and four. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It has the distance and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 21-yard line. Mississippi State's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down, and they're forced to punt. Uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some play. And he's tackled right away. That's a game of 12 on the play. First down. They'll bring him down at the 29. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Yeah. 
Makes the catch and look out. And he's leveled at the 40-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That makes it third and three. Tackled after a decent pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. Right left, right left. Three down, three down. Easy, 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 easy. Rich man, Rich man. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Around the 43 yard line. That brings up third and ten. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. There's a fumble. Scoops it up. And they make the stop at the 37-yard line. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. Dave is waiting for the snap. Madsen fields it at the 19. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. The Bulldogs have simply rocked the college football world with an astounding effort in this one. This is one of the biggest upsets I think we've seen all year. You know what's great? They didn't worry about any of the outside distractions. They just kind of locked in to themselves and their coaches, getting ready for this football game, and it's really paid off for them. He gets to about the 41-yard line. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and ten. Hey, kill, kill, kill! He's at midfield. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He might have a chance. He's at the 20. And there's another one. Wow. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. He makes the PAT, a four-play, 69-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for a defense. So the score now, 30 to nothing. He's to the 20. 
Makes it to the 22-yard line. Yeah, the defensive coordinator made it a priority to put some pressure on this quarterback. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. This offense hasn't had any trouble moving the ball on the ground. Well, they are running it pretty well, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. You take the yards however you can get them. With the game pretty much out of reach, they don't have to keep coming after the quarterback. But you never know what this defensive coordinator has planned. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Draw play, and he's taken down at the 25. Game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Throws it out at all. He's hit hard for a loss. to punt. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's tackled at the 50-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Taken down at the 42-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Can you believe it? We head to the fourth quarter in what has been a stunning game. 30 nothing. Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. No gain. That'll make it 31. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. for the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 20-yard line. From the 20-yard line, it's first down. Fires out to his wideout, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it second and two. Makes it to the 12-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They get in, touchdown. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. A 
and he converts the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to take a look at what's going on in Athens. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Georgia, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. Texas on top, 28-27. Well, if that score holds up, that would be water cooler talk on Monday morning. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Pass right, running back's got it. Tackle at the 29-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it second and six. Pressure coming. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down around the 34-yard line. That's a game of five on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Caught, open field, and down he goes. Right around the 40. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. Washed out, and he's going to get sacked. Call the loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. That's a game of four on the play. That'll make it third and 13. They bring the quarterback down. Loss of seven yards on the play. Fourth down. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He really got a hold of that one. He's to the 40. And they push him out at the 44. This really has been a well-oiled machine all day long. Brad, it's been fun to watch this team play. They've done it in every phase. The defense, the special teams, the offense. Just a perfect performance. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. He's knocked out of bounds at the 45-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Tackles him hard at the 41 yard line. That's good for a game of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. He gets out to about the 38 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From the 38-yard line. Second down. Play fake, looking to run. He's tackled in the open field. Call it again at five yards. Third down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
He's at the 20. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, first down. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run.